Let's take a look at a single microtubule. Alpha, beta, heterodimers will add to each other to form a flat sheet of microtubules called a protofilament. When it gets long enough and wide enough, that sheet will curl, and that's what you're seeing here. And eventually a seam will form, and you will get an actual tubule. And the alpha, beta, heterodimers that aggregate to form the protofilament continue to add to the microtubule, and they add to the plus end to grow the microtubule. If you look in cross-section at a microtubule, and that's shown in an electron micrograph, you could count 13 tubulin subunits in that cross-section. And indeed, all microtubules in eukaryotes are a ring of 13 tubulin subunits. So here we see the alpha, beta, heterodimers continuing to add, even after the microtubule has fully formed by, the, by forming a seam in a curling protofilament, even after that, the microtubule can continue to grow longer by the addition of more alpha beta subunits. Remember that these alpha beta subunits are adding as alpha GTP beta subunits. This growth by addition to the plus end eventually results in GTP hydrolysis. So let's take a look. Here we have an experiment in which the alpha beta tubulins were made radioactive. That's the black and white balls to just simply indicate radioactive alpha GTP bound beta tubulin heterodimers. Uh, you see in this partially formed microtubule the alpha GTP beta tubulin heterodimers that are already there and therefore not radioactive. And behind them you see the alpha GDP subunit bound to beta to make the heterodimer that has been part of the microtubule for a period of time. So the experiment then is to add radioactive alpha beta heterodimers bound to GTP. Uh, that should be a black ball, not a red ball in that uh, sentence up there. And to add them to isolated microtubules for a very, very short time. After that short pulse of labeling, allowing the microtubule to grow a little bit using some of the radioactive heterodimers, the sample is centrifuged, the microtubules are brought down to the bottom of the tube, and the supernatant is thrown away, meaning you're throwing away any remaining radioactive alpha, beta heterodimers. And to the sedimented microtubules, to the pellet, you add fresh solution containing non-radioactive alpha, beta heterodimers. During the time that the non-radioactive heterodimers are present, that's called the chase, the microtubule will continue to grow. But now when they grow during the chase period, they are not adding radioactive heterodimers, they're adding non-radioactive heterodimers. If you sample some of the microtubules at different times of the chase, you can make autoradiographs, and you would be able to see a set of autoradiographs like those represented here. Right after the pulse, you might see microtubules with radioactivity, that is dark silver grains on the autoradiograph, at one end of the microtubule. And most of the microtubules will be labeled at an end. We'll talk about what that means in a second. If you take some of the microtubules out a little later during the chase period, and that would be the second autoradiograph from the top, you would find that the silver grains are now no longer at the very end of the microtubule, but are somewhere within the microtubule. If you wait a little longer, you will find that most of the microtubules that you can sample by autoradiography like this might show radioactivity somewhere near the center of the microtubule. And if you wait still longer during the chase, you will find that the radioactivity is now once again near an end of the microtubule. If you think about that for a little while, uh, remember that what you're looking at is many autoradiographs of microtubules at each of the different times during the chase. So what this is interpreted to mean is shown in the cartoon the alpha, beta, heterodimers are going to be adding to one end and coming off the other. So let's see what happens. We have the assembly end shown here, the plus end. We have the radioactive heterodimers with the black balls now adding. And if you follow them, we interpret the autoradiographs with this cartoon. If you wait long enough after the chase, you will find that the microtubules are no longer radioactive at all and they don't become radioactive again because what's coming off at the minus end, at the disassembly end, might be radioactive, but they are GDP bound, and GDP bound heterodimers cannot participate in adding to the plus end.